Today, Kevin and I are going to be comparing the traditional Ben & Jerry's half-baked ice cream to... The new, totally unbaked. And ice. it is a limited batch. So these were $4.99 each at Meyer, And uh, we are going to, uh, we want to compare them and see what is the difference between totally unbaked and half-baked. So half-baked is chocolate and vanilla ice cream mine too mixed with gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and fudge brownies mine have gobs of chocolate chip cookie dough and brownie batter swirls so, so the only difference is they my yours are baked brownies mine are unbaked brownies mine That's has fudge thing. brownies and yours has a, a brownie swirl. batter swirl okay well so, but mine has cookie mine chocolate vanilla and cookie dough brown batter brownie swirl yours just has cooked brownies okay let's let's look at the calories uh there's three servings in the container two-thirds yep. cup yep. 141 grams is 370 calories mine's 380 or the entire pint is 1100 calories mine's 1140 calories okay so yours is higher calories so the mm -hmm. new limited batch is it's higher about calories. just a little bit but it is higher okay open yours and open mine okay so, would you? Did I got you, ice. Oh, I was excited. Like, we dropped. No, it was just a little piece did of we, ice that was on top. So you, so you can see the swirl of brownie batter. Yeah. Okay. So. That looks good. I'm ready to eat it now. We haven't had these sitting out very long, really at all, honestly. Okay. So can you hold that up? I've got a little bit of everything in here. Ooh, I see the chocolate chip cookie dough right there. Yeah. It's a big hunk of it. I see brownie. And brownie. I see everything. No, yeah, there's cookie dough. This is one of Ashley's favorites, by the mm -hmm. way. Half baked is like one of her favorite mm -hmm. ice It's good. No, mm -hmm. I like the cookie dough. I love the cookie dough. To me, the cookie dough is the best part of that. It has like a grainy, mm -hmm. sugary texture. But I want to really try that brownie because yeah, I got a hunk, a hunk of brownie. we're going to be comparing it to the other. It's good. Can't go wrong with that. The brownie is very dense. It is a little dense, but it's not like hard and. No, but it's very dense. The so that's why I'm, I think I like the the cookie dough the best because it's gritty grainy it's, it's a little softer it, it um it's more fun for you to chew than the the denseness of that um brownie yeah i like the brownie though because i think it mixed in really well okay so yeah just don't flick that in the floor yeah i'm gonna try totally unbaked here we go Okay, there we go. There's a lot of chocolate in there. It's heavy too. I know it's probably the same size, but it feels really heavy. So this also has a big hunk of that um, cookie, cookie dough. dough which it's is just got the brownie the batter is like uh, a swirl. Okay. Yep, cookie dough right there. Little yeah, you don't there. get the, the hunk of the... I'm trying to get that perfect bite. Mm -hmm. The cookie dough is still really good. And there's a piece of cookie dough in here I didn't even get it because I knew it would be the same. I wanted to try it all together. What do you think? Honestly, have very similar flavors. Yes. The texture is really just a matter of if you like the brownie texture or not. Mm -hmm. If you like those kind of like sticky, goopy kind of brownie hunks, or if you like a smooth like swirl, the flavors are almost exactly the same, but it's really more of a texture difference than anything. It is. Um, I because think the brownie pieces literally are like a soft goopiness. 
Mm. I think I like the, the original half baked. I do too. And that surprises. Well, it does surprise me, and then it doesn't surprise me. <clears throat> it surprises me because it is so. The pieces are so thick that I thought, well, maybe I would like the totally unbaked more. But when I read the description of the totally unbaked, it's like, well, that just sounds like a just a chocolate fudge sauce. I mean, it sounds like just something that, what it is. that you would put on top of a, in an ice cream sundae. Yeah. And that's kind of um, been done again and again and again. And um, so I'm like, well, how is that any different really? And um, so truly it's not. It's just uh, you've removed the thick brownie texture and you've just put this uh, uh, sauce. Sauce? It, it tastes like yeah. hot fudge sauce. If you've ever had a hot fudge sauce, yes. that's what that brownie that's what it swirl tastes like. tastes like is hot fudge sauce. So I think they were very smart to say this is going to be a limited batch because it truly isn't that much different than what's been around forever in other ice creams. And what makes, what sets the half-baked aside from other ice creams is you do get the brownie pieces. You're getting pieces of brownie. In, in this totally unbaked, you're not getting those pieces at all. No, you're getting, the, the flavor though is very similar. So if you like the flavor, try it out. Right. But um, I, I, would, I do really miss the brownie texture. I do, I, I miss, I didn't think I would miss it that much, and I did. It does. Makes so I difference. think for people like Ashley, who this is her favorite Ben and Jerry's, um, I think she will want to stick with the Yeah, I can't imagine changing. No. You never know, but you know, unless somebody says, I really like it, but I don't like the thick brownie. Yeah. That's, that's the only people that would want change. Right. Yeah. So, um, if you've done this, if you've bought both of them, if you've done your own comparison at home, let us know what you think, but our vote is sticking with half-baked. The half-baked. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoy the video, and thanks for watching.